already part two of Jacob and Esau. We're going to pick up in Genesis 25, verse 29. And Jacob sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom, which we'll see later on. That's important. Uh, he becomes a his own an own father of a, a nation of people. And Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. Very important. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die. What profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau uh, bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. So this is part one of two where Jacob manipulates from a willing Esau for his birthright. All right, now we move on. Uh, Jacob or uh, Esau uh, has not treated his birthright with any respect. He was just, I'm going to die from food, so I better just go ahead and eat whatever you want. I'll just give you my birthright. Now, as a firstborn, Esau had a lot of responsibility, and plus all of his father's goods, Isaac's goods, all of that would go to Esau. And now, you know, Jacob was really smart. He's he's a con, uh, conniver. He's a manipulator. He's a schemer, and we'll see that about Jacob as we move on. Uh, but Esau is just, well, I just need food. I need it now. I don't, who cares? And so his birthright is given, you know, to Jacob. And in verse twenty-seven, we'll see part two of. Uh, uh, Jacob's brilliant plan. His mother even got into the game here a little bit and, and helped Jacob deceive Isaac and Esau, and that, we'll see that next.